Hi everyone, this is Sal with Moon Valley Nurseries and we're talking about all kinds of pests and disease that could be potentially in your home and garden and some of the things we see our clients bring into the nursery on a regular basis. So the pest we're talking about right now is known as weevils. So weevils are kind of a big black bug, look like a huge beetle, but they have a kind of a pointy beak or pointy front to them. And we usually recognize them in the base of plants, at the stems, or even in the soil in some cases. They can get into things like agaves, trees and shrubs. They really can do some damage. We see them even in some Palo Verde sometimes. So if we happen to know that these are getting in there, they can do a lot of damage in a hurry and they could really spread into a lot of other plants in a hurry. So we wanna do our best to get them treated as quick as we can. So if you think you have them, get some samples, bring some pictures. If you can, capture the pest, bring it in. Um, the, the area, like get some pictures of the trunk or whatever you think they're eating. It really helps us identify it for it. We wanna make sure we know what we're dealing with. Once we think we know what we're dealing with, or we have proven that we know what we're dealing with, we wanna go ahead and treat for it. So we're gonna use the systemic drench as we've talked about earlier, we really want to make sure that we mix that into a bucket and pour that all around the plant, the tree, and kind of fight it from the inside out. It's really important to do that. The other thing we like to do is use triple action and kind of coat that guy. It's, it's really a, a neem oil. It soaks the entire pest in that, kind of coats them and kills them that way. It's fantastic to help get rid of it. And then we want to go through your watering and your fertilizing program with you. So we're going to start off with your watering. If we're watering regularly, if we're fertilizing regularly and our plants tend to be a little healthier, a little stronger, they're a little less likely to get eaten up by these guys. So my number one recommendation is from a preventative maintenance is really just keep your plants trimmed right, fed right, fertilized right. Let's keep them happy. Let's keep them healthy. They can be optimally happy in the yard. They're a little more resistant to that. They're a little easier to treat on the next go around also. But please come in, bring your samples, bring your pictures, whatever we can. Come see a nursery pro. Come visit our amazing nurseries. We've got a great place to come visit anytime you'd like. We'll answer all your questions. We'll send you home with the right gear to take care of everything. We've got a great brochure for you guys to use to kind of treat and maybe know how to do it for the next year or so. And again, we'll be glad to help you out and treat you anything else you got going on in your yard too. Thanks guys.